going to do a quick demonstration of how you can um, export some features out of GeoMedia Pro um, as a shapefile, save them into a folder, and then open them up and project them in uh, ArcMap. And then what we'll, we'll do is uh, do another quick demonstration of how you can take a shapefile that was generated uh, in an ESR product and bring it into GeoMedia Pro. The procedures are a little bit different. Um, you can actually uh, import and display um, features that were exported from um, GeoMedia Pro into a shapefile. And then once they're in there, it'll pull them in and display them. Once they're in there, you have to project them. Once they're projected, then you can do any kind of calculations or reproject them. Um, in going from shapefile to uh, Intergraph products, you have to create a coordinate system file and a warehouse config file, and I'll show you how to do that. You just have to understand what the projection is for each. So the first thing we're going to do is I have a uh, Geo Workspace open now with some features in it that I created. Actually, the Geo Workspace coordinate system for the most of the work that I did was Albers Equal Area, but I, I uh, just recently um, changed the projection to UTM Zone 16 North and created um, another warehouse and then exported some features out into that warehouse. When you create a warehouse in GeoMedia Pro, it will uh, create the warehouse in the projection and import features into the warehouse in the projection that uh, is the current projection of the geo workspace. So keep that in mind. If you want to change projections, just uh, change the projection of geo workspace and then create yourself a new uh, Microsoft Access database or warehouse and then export features into it. Okay. First thing we're going to do is uh, export. So we're going to go to Warehouse, Export to, and select Shapefile by left clicking on Shapefile. Um, the features I'm going to export are the features that are in Alabama UTM. So I have two features in there county, Alabama counties, and a boundary. So I'm going to check both of them. And um, we're going to export 3D coordinates as well. Um, although in this particular application, that's not going to matter. We're going to browse and we're going to put them just on the C drive and I'm going to make up a new folder and I'm going to call them um, Alabama Tiger shape because it was uh, the, the, count, the actual features were developed using a shape file and a join. So we have to click that once and then click it again I'll click out of there, click back on it. Now it shows up down here as the folder, a little bit cumbersome. OK. And uh, just apply. Export complete. So we should have, and we'll close that. Let's go ahead and minimize this screen. Double left click on my C drive, Alabama Tiger Shape. There's all the shape files. I'm going to take this projection. I'm going to copy that folder, that's the projection file, and then right click out here on my desktop and paste. And then I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to rename, actually I, I won't rename the PRJ, I'll just put a .txt after this for a file extension. You get this warning. Now I can open that up and you can see what this is. It's WGS 1984 UTM Zone 16 North. So that's what the projection is for that. And we'll keep that in mind for later on. What we want to do now is uh, let's just minimize this. And we can leave this projection file up there for a moment. And we're going to open up ArcMap. OK, in ArcMap, we're going to get to go to My Templates. And we're going to select a blank map and OK. We have no layers yet. We'll add some data now. So left click on Add Data. Let's um, we'll actually have to add this location now. So we're going to go to Computer, C Drive, Alabama Tiger Shape, OK. And here's our two particular features, Alabama Shape. 
in Alabama County shape. We'll add those in. This is the warning that they're unprojected. They're missing a spatial reference, so click OK. And let's drag Alabama down below Alabama counties or Alabama counties up. Ah. And let's take a look at one of these counties. There's all the data that are in there. Let's close this up. Okay, I'm going to right click on Alabama counties. We can open up the attribute table. These are all the attributes that are in there. And this it this wasn't the one I did from Tiger, but in any event, it's uh, it's exported out. How do I project it? I'm going to click on the toolbox, go to Data Management, and we're going to go to Projections and Transformations, and we're going to define a projection. The input data set first will take Alabama. And it says it has an unknown coordinate system. We're going to go to projected coordinate systems. We're going to go to UTM, WGS84, Northern Hemisphere. And I know it's zone 16 because we just read it. And OK. And OK. And you should get this message down here that the projection is good. OK, define projection work on that. Do it one more time. This time we're going to input counties, take the projection, project it again. We're going to go to UTM, select WGS84, Northern Hemisphere, go to 16 North, click OK and OK. And that was good as well. So if we go back into the table of contents, right click on um, Alabama counties and under general or source, you'll notice that now we have a projected coordinate system of WGS 1984, UTM zone 16 north. So everything's good to go. We're displaying down here in meters easting and meters northing. So everything looks good. Um, if we want to do some properties, go out to labels. And we're going to use state name for the label. We can click on this. Let's go to Times New Roman. And let's make it about a six fold. Apply. OK. Then right click and put a check at labels. And now we have some county, county labels on here. So. Um, what I want to do now is I think I'm going to just go ahead and output this as a new shape file. So let's go to Arc Toolbox and under Data. We're going to go to Conversion Tools and we're going to roll down here to Shape File. And we're going to go feature class to shape file multiple. We're going to input two features, Alabama and Alabama counties. Select the folder. And let's go up one. And we'll make a new folder. Let's do it this way. It's much easier and better to try it this way. Now we're going to go to the C drive, make new folder, and we're going to call this one Alabama uh, 2, Roman numeral 2. Okay. So we ought to be able to find that now. Sometimes you have to click around to get this. There you go, Alabama 2, OK. 
and we're going to name um, this. Cancel this. Now we're going to go to output folder, go up one, and map to Alabama 2. Folder connections. We'll see if we can find this bad boy now. There it is. Add. So now we're at Alabama 2. The input features are here. Let's just click OK. And down here you should get some information that it's happening. So now we have feature class to shape files multiple. So we've output those two shape files. If we go into uh, table of contents, we could add those, but we're not going to do that. Now what we're going to do is open GeoMedia. And I'm going to turn off that. And that. I got this thematic that I had run. That and that. And we'll turn off the labels too. Okay. What we're going to do now is go to start all programs. Roll down to GeoMedia Professional. We're going to go into Utilities. First thing we have to do is define a coordinate system file. So left click on that. The coordinate system is projection with a projection space of universal transverse mercator. The zone is 16, if you'll remember, northern. Geographic space, WGS84, that's OK. And where are we going to put that? We're going to put that in the folder that we created, Alabama 2. And let's just call it Alabama 2. So I know what it is. So that's saved. Now we're going to go to Start All Programs, GeoMedia Professional, Utilities, and we're going to define Warehouse Config File. When you define a Warehouse Config File, it tells GeoMedia when you make a connection uh, what the format of the data are and its projections. So it's an ArcView shape file, and it's asking for the workspace folder. It's on the C drive. Alabama 2. Okay. You notice that when we told it where the folder was, it automatically found the coordinate system file inside the folder. That's why I named them the same because it'll look for that. Here's what the warehouse configuration file is going to be. Next, it's already over there. It's a coordinate system file. Finish. Okay. So now we should be good to go. Let's go back to GeoMedia. And make a new warehouse connection. So new connection. This time it's going to be ArcView. And let's call it Alabama 2. Because we know what that is. And browse. For the workspace folder. And as you know. With the shape file. You just get the folder. You'll notice that when we did that. It picked up the configuration file already. So we click OK, and we should be able to now add legend entries for Alabama 2. Both of them are there. And uh, if you look at the latitude and longitude up here, they projected correctly. Let's turn on one of these. And you'll notice that they laid right over top of the existing data. So basically, that's how you uh, move data around from ArcView to GeoMedia and GeoMedia to ArcView. This is the sort of interoperability that I'm looking for on the midterm that I'm also looking for when you uh, do the final examination for advanced. Also, I'm looking for this kind of interoperability when you're doing your capstone and when you're, um, if you're in the master's program, when you're doing a master's thesis. This is what makes uh, a strong AUM GIS graduate. That is all for now, folks.